Notion's absence of being able to do recurring tasks is probably one of the biggest drawbacks of the app. I mean, it was our productivity god himself, James Clear, who said that recurring habits are the compound interest of productivity. And without a really great system to do these habits and to complete these things on a recurring basis, how are we gonna live our most productive lives? And the answer is, of course, that we can't. Hey guys, how's it going? For those new to the channel, my name's Tom and here we talk about how you can use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe and you're gonna be notified when I release new weekly videos. Now today is gonna to be all about recurring tasks. We're gonna talk through how I use Notion's template button functionality to do weekly and monthly recurring tasks. We're gonna look at everything to do with configuring that button, how you can use it as part of your weekly plan and ultimately how you're gonna be able to get shit done by using recurring tasks. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, hang about a button for recurring tasks. Why can't we just make use of the recurring task formula that I see everywhere? It's been popularized by Thomas Frank and Danny Hatcher and people like that. For me, I really don't like the recurring task formula. And the reason for this is quite simple. Whenever I'm thinking about when I'm gonna be doing a specific task, I'm always in my head thinking about the due date. And this is the date that it's gonna be done. And it means that when I look at a calendar, I can see exactly where that task fits in with the grand scheme of my month. Now, when we use a recurring task formula, what we're actually doing is creating a new property which calculates the date that that next task should be done by, which means that we've then got two properties when we're looking at a task. We've got its due date, and then if we're looking at recurring tasks, we've got its next due date. And this means that it's impossible for us to see recurring tasks and non-recurring tasks side by side in a calendar view. And because I visualize most of my workflow through a calendar view, that really is a deal breaker for me, which is why I choose to use the template button, which means that we don't have to add this additional property and we can treat recurring tasks in exactly the same way as we can treat normal non-recurring tasks. So enough of my yapping about why we should be using a template button over a recurring task formula. Let's have a look at my system and my setup and we can show you how you can get started with creating these recurring task buttons. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually create for yourself the tasks that you think are gonna be repeating. You can do this on a monthly or a weekly basis. So I have three here that are going every week. So a journal, that's something I do every day. A morning routine, I do every day. And a weekly review, I do once a week. Then I also have this monthly uh, self-care, which is something I do obviously every month. Now just having a quick look into this, you can see that the reason that I wanna create a recurring task for this is the templates that I'm using for these tasks are actually quite complicated. So for the journal, I split this out into morning and evening. It would be an absolute ball ache for me to write this out every morning. I want to make my journaling habit as frictionless as possible. So I don't wanna be bothering around creating that every morning. I just want a template that I can use. Now, going back, we can have a look at the other tasks that I have on a weekly basis, which one of them might be the morning routine. Now, again, this is something that I don't want to bother typing out every time. It's just six or so things that I do to kick off my morning, and I just check these along as I go. And finally, we have my weekly review on the weekly basis, which is story of the week, what went well, just really a template that I can follow to think about the week to try and make actions for the week coming and just try and iteratively improve on my productivity over the weeks. Some of you might be thinking that I could just use Notion's template functionality to do this, and indeed I could, but it still is another layer of friction and I'd much rather plan out all of my tasks the Sunday before the week, rather than having to rely on me creating the task myself through Notion's templating. So we wanna put these three tasks now into a template button. And the way that we do that is just forward slash type out template button. And then let's just configure this. And I'm gonna call it weekly tasks. Now here we wanna get rid of this annoying to do that it auto populates for us. And then all we wanna do is drag the blocks, which are the tasks into the template. So we've got journal here and we've got morning routine and we've also got the weekly review. Now, because the journal in the morning routine is something that I do on a daily basis, what I actually need to do is duplicate these so that they appear seven times in that journal button. 
So to do that, I'm just gonna hover over it and press Command D six times. And the same for morning routine. Just hover over it, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means now I've got seven of each of these recurring tasks that I'm doing on a daily basis and also my weekly review. Now you'll notice that annoyingly what's happened is it's called each of the copies that I've made copy of. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rename those so it's just the task itself. Okay, so that's a bit annoying. It takes a couple of minutes to rename all of those. Annoyingly, I can't get the Command Shift R button to work for renaming, so I don't know what's up with that. But luckily, we only have to do this once because now the template button is set up. So we can go ahead and close this. And here is where the magic happens. So now all we need to do is every week when we're ready to put in these weekly tasks, just click this template button and it's automatically going to generate these daily tasks and the weekly task. One annoying thing about it is that it is a little bit slow when it uh, generates, but now it's just going to be a case of us dragging these in to the relevant day. So let's have a look at how I do that. Let me just fold up projects here. So let's say I'm planning for next week. All I'm going to do is drag in the journal, it's something that I want to do every day. And I'm also going to tag in the morning routine as something I want to do every day as well. And finally, the weekly review as something that I'm just going to do on a Sunday. So hopefully from that, you can just appreciate the power of setting up this template button because that whole process of planning out all the recurring tasks in the week only took me about two minutes. It's literally a case of pressing the button and dragging them into the correct day. Now we can also set this up for things that recur on a different level of cadence. Ooh, cadence, fancy word, right? Um, so this might be something that recurs on a monthly or a yearly basis. So in order to do that, it's much the same really. We're just gonna type in template button. We're gonna rename this as monthly tasks. Again, delete this annoying to do. And then I'm gonna pull in my monthly self-care into here, close that. And then obviously whenever I click on this, it's gonna generate that monthly task for me. Annoyingly as well with the template button, when you press monthly task, if it's just one task, or if you press the template task button and it's just one task, it's gonna then open that page for you. So you just need to come back out of that and then you can drag in the monthly self-care or whatever it is into uh, whichever day you're gonna do it that month. And that's really it as far as recurring tasks go on Notion. It's pretty simple, doesn't require any complex formulas. Just a couple of buttons that you can press. How I tend to do this is every Sunday I plan out my week, I press the weekly task button and then I'll just see uh, on my monthly tasks, probably just do that once a month or something. The recurring task template button really is one of my favorite features on Notion. I think it's an absolute powerhouse when you get it going and working for you because it just eliminates all of the friction of those daily and weekly habits that you're trying to get going. But I'm interested to hear if you're a recurring tasks formula diehard, why is that? What is it about the recurring task formula that you prefer? And also let me know in the comments if there's any, if there's any cool use cases that you have for recurring tasks. If you like this video, I'm also gonna leave a video here that you might wanna check out. But thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.